Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, how are you doing? My name's uh, Alex George, Dr. Alex George, and I've got my little doggy, Rolo, with me. Hi, you, Rolo. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. We're going out on our stomp, on our morning stomp, and I thought I'd make a little video, catch up with you guys. Um, this is a few videos in now of a series of kind of vlogs, um, kind of showing behind the scenes, just normal life, day to day. Um, because, as I said, Instagram is very much my campaign work and say, brand work, stomp cast and all that. Um, TikTok is a lot of myth busting, mostly probably motivational stuff. Stomp cast is the stomp cast. And so I really want a space that was kind of showing you a little bit more of the us messing around, just living life videos, which I thought would be a bit of fun. Of course, on the YouTube channel, there's a lot of advice videos as well with like experts, such as dermatologists, psychiatrists, and so on. Anyway. Good to see you guys. Uh, I thought I'd remind you of something. Um, one of the first videos of these vlogs, I said, my mission in life is to make mental health matter. Rolo, don't chase the pigeons. And the other thing I, I said is that my personal goal is to be happy and healthy, or at peace and healthy, which are important goals, I'd say, he's pulling. That's a big doggy over there, we're not going over there. Probably friendly, but it's quite big. I'd really recommend to everyone really that you know have a little think about what your purpose is in life what your kind of mission what is your mission in life what is it i say mission for me that's interchangeable interchangeable with purpose um so that's what i want to achieve but also having your own personal goals is really important as well and actually when i break that all down um i have a lot of little personal goals which i'm sure we'll dig into at some point but can we also say as so i look at this spot look at this morning how aggressive is that spot it's an aggressive one i'm actually this week um filming for a new TV show, which I'm really excited about. I'll not mention that anywhere else, but here, I can't tell you all exactly yet. I hate being that person. Oh, I can't tell you, it's a surprise. But I can't actually tell you. I really, really not allowed to, uh, otherwise I would, because I'm terrible at secrets. In fact, let's give you a bit of Rolo cam, because to be honest with you, he's probably much more interesting to look at than me and my spots. Hello, mister, you're gonna make us all sick if you start running around in circles. Although this could be a sign you might need to do a poo. You shouldn't need to, you've done one this morning. You have, haven't you? Yeah, you have. So these videos really are just me out and about doing my thing. Like I literally, this is Sunday morning, and I'm out on a little wander. I try and get up really early for a few different reasons. It's so hot at the moment, it's ridiculous. And being a quite a fluffy dog, you can't go out. Um, we really are upsetting the pigeons here, aren't we? We can't go out in the daytime when it's really, really hot. So we get out nice and early, like it's seven o'clock-ish here right now um, which means we can get out we can have a wander we can enjoy ourselves and also it's quiet I love having a bit of space just to just to just you know have I don't know quiet time you don't always want to feel like you're in busyness and I think in London that's one of the negatives can be anyway is busyness I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. I'm really having a mirror this morning aren't I sorry people I put my sunglasses on I've given up I can't see anything um, they say it's rude to talk to people with your sunglasses on but I'm really sorry, it's it's rather bright. Um, yeah, I like it out in the morning because basically you get, get, get a bit of time to yourself. Me and Rolo just, just kind of hang out. I can play ball with him, fetch. Um, you know, it, it's just a nice time of day. I love the morning. I'm such a morning person. There's like an optimism in the morning, isn't there? You get up and you think, right, I've got the day ahead of me. It's endless possibilities. And I try as well and always think in the morning, look, it's a new day. So whatever yesterday held, yesterday's done. Today is a new day, and it's a new opportunity. And even if yesterday was terrible <laughs> for all sorts of reasons, then today has the possibility of being actually quite a good day. And I think that's something that I hold on to, and it really does help me. Um, and if you get out for a walk, you already know, no matter what else you do in your day, you've achieved something, you've gone out for a walk, you've moved, you've maybe seen something new. It's amazing when you're outside, how often when I'm walking that I experience something new or meet, meet someone new or meet someone, an old friend or or you see something or you see a bit of nature, a bit of wildlife and it does just remind you, just get outside, get outside and have a look around. All you really need to do is find somewhere, you know, even amongst the chaos of cities, you find a little park, find something you can go for a stomp, I'm actually trying to sneak ahead, find something you can go for a little stomp and move and you'll find, you'll find beauty, fun nature all around you like it's so nice especially especially in the morning time it's a little bit quieter you can hear the sounds of the birds as well and just listen 
It's that grounding technique. Let's can you see? Oh, there we go. There's a little robin up there. Can you see him? What a beautiful noise. I love it. It's funny how we're like creatures of habit, isn't it? Like most of us will do. Even if you think you're someone that's like, oh, I don't need routines, whatever, hate routine. Generally, most of us do pretty similar things. No matter where we go, if you go traveling, you'll still probably get up at similar times. You'll probably have the same coffee you like in the morning, similar kind of cuisine or food that you like to eat. And some of the things you do to unwind is, is fascinating, isn't it, really? But, um, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy the routine. I like coming to places that I know and go for a walk, have a coffee. It just feels good, you know, start your day in a positive space. And uh, skinny flat white is definitely a good start to the day. I think as you get older as well, you appreciate, I think, you appreciate the little things. And I always thought that was odd when, like, families or friend, friends said that. But you do appreciate the little things. Um, so it's just time outside. Just, you know, seeing the blue sky, you know, the sun on your skin and all those kind of things. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of becomes even more important than anything else. And I think as I've got older, you know, I've never been massively materialistic. I gen genuinely get up in the morning, just chuck on whatever I can. Um, I'm not particularly materialistic. I do like my cars, as you know. There's a few things I like, but I, I'm not that bothered about most things these days, you know. Family, friends, this little guy who's cooling off underneath. These are the things that really matter, the rest of it. Who cares? Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing, whether it's morning or evening, or you're just unwinding for the evening. I hope that this video has, you know, given you a bit more insight behind the scenes, but I hope that would. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, please remember to subscribe, hit that button down below, and uh, please like the video, comment, whatever, and, you know, any thoughts that you have. Yeah, really appreciate you all. Have a good day. Goodbye.